Hello everyone, this is Gamo Edits and welcome back for another tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to convert this PowerPoint presentation into a PDF file using the powerful software PDF Element. We will also explore the different tools and AI features of this tool. So let's get started. So here is their official website where you can explore the different tools and capabilities of what PDF Element has to offer. I will link it in the description box making it easy for you to navigate to the website. Simply click the download button here to start the download process. After the installation, you will see here the user interface with various tools available for use. Additionally, you can find recent files here for easy access. As a PowerPoint content creator, having an advanced PDF tool like PDF Element is crucial. It benefits not only me, but also students and professionals in various industries. After installing PDF Element, you will find a new ribbon here that makes it easy to create a PDF directly from your PowerPoint file. Just rename it, and once converted, it opens in PDF Element. So here is your PDF in PDF Element. The converted file displays various features within PDF element. Now let's explore its tools, starting with basics, such as the highlighter, offering different color options to emphasize key parts of your PDF. You can simply choose your color and then highlight the important parts of your PDF. This is crucial for studying and recalling important notes. Additionally, you can also add shapes with a variety of customizable options enabling you to remove the fill and customize the outline. This feature is beneficial for students during their PDF reviews from professors. You can also edit the text easily. Just click this Edit All feature and then you can modify the text. In contrast to other PDF editors where text editing is restricted, PDF Element allows you to click and revise or customize the text effortlessly. Whether you need to change existing information or add a new text box for additional details, PDF Element makes it simple. Next is one of my favorite features is the OCR tool. I know I'm not alone in disliking it when professors send notes with text embedded in pictures, making it impossible to revise or highlight. Thankfully, PDF Element solves this issue by allowing us to extract text using the OCR tool. Simply select OCR, save, and then choose whether to process the entire file or a specific page. For me, I will just process this specific page and you will see the extracted text after the process. Now you can effortlessly revise, highlight, and edit the text making it easy for us to review, read, and customize the content. For example, here I can now highlight the text and I can also select all of the text, make it larger, reposition it, and move it to the file however we want. As well as for this, we can select all the text and then make it larger and then position it however we want. The next feature is the new and trending AI feature of PDF element. For example, I will select the text here, choose this AI tool, and click Proofread. PDF element will provide the corrected version of the selected text. Here we can observe the misspelled word of the systematic automatically corrected by PDF element and it will be replaced in the PDF file. Additionally, there are different tools aside to that. For example, we can select a specific text, for example, this, and then translate it into a different language. For instance, I selected the text and convert it into Filipino language. As you can see here, here is the result of the converted or translated language. PDF Element also supports translation into various languages like Korean, for example. As you can see here, here is the Korean version of that text. In addition to all these features, there's also this AI side tool. Here we can chat with our PDF. For instance, if we want to summarize the PDF, we can ask the AI to do so. In seconds, the tool will generate the main idea or the main gist of the entire PDF file, making it easy for us to understand their concept. 
We can also pose different questions to this tool about the PDF. For example, we can command it to provide a two-sentence summary about the importance of research for students. And then once done, just click this send, wait for a few seconds, and the AI tool will answer referencing the page number it used. Moreover, we can chat with the AI and ask different questions beyond our PDF content. For instance, we can ask for tips on conducting research as a student. Just type your question here on the chat box or any command that you want to ask about the AI. So just type anything here and then click send, wait for a few seconds and it will generate the answer. This feature works like ChatGPT as if the AI is embedded in PDF element making it not just a PDF tool but a productivity tool as well. Now we can explore different AI features here. For example, I will select the text and then I will let the AI to explain it. Within a few seconds, the AI will generate an explanation of the selected text. The AI also has the power to rewrite the selected text while maintaining the same thought. If you are not satisfied with the original, you can replace it with the rewrite function of this PDF element. For the next feature, we have comments and signatures. Under the comment tab, we can see here the different tools that we can use for our PDF. To highlight a comment, simply click the sticky note, then you can revise and add comments to a specific page or part of the PDF. Just type here the comment. And once we hover our mouse, the comment becomes visible. We can also hide and show comments. Now to add signature, we can use the signature tool. So just click the signature tool and just drag and drop the saved signature in this PDF element. You can also create new by uploading a e-signature or even draw your signature or type your signature here. There are a lot of other features that you can use here. For example, this convert tool where you can convert this PDF file into a different file format such as Word, Excel, or convert it back to PowerPoint. There's also this organized where you can rearrange the pages in your PDF file. There's also an option here where you can delete specific part or specific page of the PDF file. You can also insert new pages, split, extract, or crop. There are also tools here for OCR just like what we used earlier. There's also this combined tool, compare PDF tool, compress PDF tool, flatten the PDF or you can edit multiple PDF at once. There's also this form tool where you can add checkboxes and these different tools. You can also add protection to your PDF file by adding a password. To conclude this video, PDF Element is an excellent tool for maximizing your PDF editing. They offer various tools like the OCR tool and AI integration enhances productivity. You can try PDF Element by clicking the link in the description box. This software is free to try. Or you can upgrade your plan if you edit PDFs frequently. So what are your thoughts on PDF element, especially the integration of AI? Just comment your thoughts below. So that's basically it. Again, this is Gamma Edits and thank you for watching.